this is my trailer it's a rogue trailer it's all galvanized um, on the landing boards they're made out of that uh, composite material that you build decks out of it's um, it's got a breakaway tongue hi right, we're on our way back from Oklahoma spoon milling um, my motor is a 60 horse four stroke Yamaha I mean fishing all day yesterday we probably used three gallons of gas it's real fuel efficient the boat, as I said before, it's a 16-foot Aluma Well Talon. I might have said 17. I get it confused sometimes. But it is a 16-footer. The whole thickness is 0.16 inches as compared to a low roughneck that's just 0.1. Um, that's the bottom, 0.16 inches. The side is the same as a low roughneck at 0.1 inches. The, the degree of V on the bottom of the boat is only 10 degrees. You know, if you look at the boat, you think it'd have a lot deeper V than that, but it's only 10%, which helps me, you know, in shallow water and on the rivers. Um, and then the boat rides just as rough as my low fishing machine that I had before that had a little bit deeper V. The, the weight of the boat is less than 850 pounds. Um, my low 16 foot fishing machine I had before this was probably a thousand pounds so it actually weighs a little bit less so it's a light boat it's a really beefy sturdy boat but it's a light boat so I can pull it all around the country like I do fishing all the time um, and I just have a you know a small truck with a six cylinder in it and it pulls it just fine at, as compared to if I had a big fiberglass boat or something okay on my drift socks I got uh, 18 inch drift sock on both sides of the boat I usually leave them hooked up to the boat. There's two cleats, cleats right here. I just store it inside the boat. But when I go to deploy it, um, I just throw it out like that. I don't know, the ropes are, pro ropes are probably five foot long. And then a one on both sides, it helps me control the boat. And it slows it down to about a mile and a half an hour uh, with the big motor at idle. Without the socks, I think it's like 2.7 to three mile an hour uh, normal conditions um, and an another thing I forgot to mention typically when I'm trolling or like this weekend when we're snagging um, I didn't use the drift socks then but uh, I was just using the big motor but I I'll typically have my electric trolling motor down up front and that way when someone hooks up I can kick it out of gear with the big motor take over with my electric trolling motor hit it on heading lock cruise control at one mile an hour and then point at something then I can either fight the fish if I'm by myself or assist the person that has hooked up getting the fish in and my boat will maintain a constant speed and then that'll help keep tension on the fish which really helps especially if you're fishing with inexperienced anglers and then also by keeping the boat in a forward motion if you got your socks out you don't you don't have to worry about your drift socks getting caught in the trolling motor or, or, or the person fighting the fish, getting the fish caught in the drift socks. It'll keep them right next to the boat and the boat moving forward. And then the fish, of course, will come to the back of the boat well away from the drift socks. You don't have to worry about hooking it uh, and then you can net the fish. Oh, look, honey, it's a bass fisherman. Wow. Hey, Edwin.